Jasmine people, welcome to the Pathway Checkup series. We'll take a look at how the Pathways did from the last video. Definitely check that out if you haven't seen that. Today will be short, sweet, and straight to the point. See how the Pathways did really quickly. Yes, it didn't follow it perfectly. We did have one drop here instead of going to the upside. The main point is we were able to hit the targets of 11 cents, also almost 12 cents. I'm not gonna be always perfect, but I definitely wanna help you to stay on the right side which is the upside and I want you guys to know that I'm not just randomly just drawing these pathways there's a lot of thought research influence and techniques I'm using behind the scenes that takes a lot of time to hopefully help you stay on the right side definitely rewatch as needed and stay in touch I believe it'll be very beneficial for you and probably in the next video as the pathways become more and more invalidated or there's too much deviation or too much time has passed I'm absolutely gonna make a brand new pathfinder video series with fresh pathways what I'm seeing is we're currently getting a pullback a tracement we did get our top a little bit later August 17th at around 0.012 of my target really close to there what can happen is we are going to start pulling back going into end of August and then I have this target here at 0 0.0097 we're gonna find some support on there possibly right there and then going into September we'll start ascending working our way back up really completing this relief rally going into fall of winter and possibly 2023 that I've been talking about for so long now another way is it could possibly retrace even further lining up with this green pathway even though there is some deviation here this green pathway in terms of time and price is definitely on the cards where it could go into end of August to beginning of September, drop a little bit lower, retesting these lows we had over here, 0 0.00834 to 0 0.008, retesting it, finding support as we go into beginning of September, and then by mid to late September, work our way back up going into October, November, December, retesting these highs that we've had before, 0 0.011, and the next target of 0 0.012 and then from there we'll see how high it can go for Jasmine. So I was saying before in the last update in the hybrid scenario if we do get some type of major drop or capitulation event going into fall that could be another portion of this macro bottom that needs to form that could be a great chance a possible great chance to reaccumulate all right guys let's go ahead and go into today's technical indicators starting with the rsi so we did get a sharp peak right here around august 16th give or take it didn't go all the way to the oversold region of 70 but it looks like it peaked at 66 lining up with this swing high local top we got over here of about 0 0.012 0.0119. I believe it'd be much better just to go ahead to reset on the short to midterm. Go ahead and just drop back down on the RSI and just refresh and just let the price kind of pull back and retrace so we can start fresh to really build momentum to the upside. It is possible too we can drop back down and find support on the 50 line mid zone and then potentially it's possible we could go lower and we don't have to go all the way to the bottom here we could go maybe around 40 or 38 35 and then work our way back up all right so something to definitely keep in mind on the rsi we're going to need some time to see how this goes all right let's go into the second technical indicator of today which is the stotch rsi i do not like how the stotch rsi is looking it looks like it's overheated we're already in the oversold region for both the yellow at 88 and the blue blue line at 80 and it's looking like the yellow is trying to cross below signaling bearish momentum to the downside at least for the short to mid term in terms of probability and odds and the possibilities it's most likely it's going to need to refresh and reset and cool down meaning that price is potentially going to drop as this technical indicator cools down and it could find support at the 50 line it doesn't have to go all the way below i would just be cautious about taking any trades as of right now keep that in mind and for the last technical indicator is the volume for today currently have the sellers taking the lead at around 2.5 million 
give or take. And we had the moving average all the way up at 12 million as we speak. We had this red candle that was right next to the moving average on the 17th at 11. And it looks like we're getting this trend of just sellers to the downside. It doesn't have to happen that way. It's looking like there's more room to the downside, which is great. Actually, a very healthy sign on the short to midterm to really just refresh and let it just pull back, retrace, and then and a pump to the upside. It's absolutely healthy, guys, to let the price pull back and then let it rip. It's like boxing, you know, championship boxers can't go for the knockout, knockout punch right away. They have to go with the jab, 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 and then go for the KO. Price action is kind of similar and same with these technical indicators. So, but tell me below where do you think Jasmine is going next for the short or midterm or long term? And also share any exciting updates or news for the Jasmine project itself or the team or the roadmap. Go ahead and share with crypto celestial community why you're bullish on jasmine all right so that's about it may the gains be with you see you in the upside and the next update thank you so much and peace